Greetings and welcome to What It Means to Be a Leader. My name is Luann Powell and I'm going to be your instructor over the next few weeks as we discuss this important topic. Um, I just look forward to working with each of you um, as we delve into all that it means to be a leader. So um, just going over what the course entails, um, we have four different modules that we'll be covering. And what I plan to do is offer about two weeks for each module. And so um, you'll get an idea of what happens. Um, we have lectures that go within those. Um, I lecture on chapters that we're covering. Typically we cover two chapters a week. Um, with that, we also have a quiz, but don't freak out, uh, it's only a 10 point quiz and, and basically just you gathering the knowledge and, and knowing that you're in the material. Um, I know a lot of you work in education and so you're familiar with just that repetitive of, of knowing the information and, and being able to, to bring that back, uh, you know, in. The, to the instructor. Uh, it's open book, open notes, so nothing to be stressed about. Uh, the interesting part of the class to me are the discussion posts because this is completely online. It's asynchronous. Um, and when I say asynchronous, it means that I will open up the course on a Monday morning, which will happen today. I'll open the course and then you'll have two weeks to complete it. And I'll give you the due dates in there and um, you'll have two weeks to complete your work. Now this first week, I really want you to get Get your introduction modules up and get them going but this first week we may have a little bit of quirky things that go on it's you getting accustomed to canvas which is our learning management system and then i use a third party provider cengage with textbook and that um sometimes sometimes it works well sometimes we just have little glitches that happen and it's so far out of my control but they they usually make it right so well no they always make it right and we'll make it right as well uh, but just to give you an idea but we'll have um, two quizzes a week or within that two week period um, or each module uh, we will have uh, discussion posts, I'll have lectures that will be included in it, and then along the way, I'll have guest lectures that are going to come in, and I've got some great people uh, that will you'll be able to hear from uh, that have been former uh, executive directors of NGOs that work for other universities, and uh, just people that are outstanding in their field that can give you some great information on the topics. So what do we cover and what it means to be a leader? Well, we're gonna talk about what it does mean to be a leader and really the difference between leadership and management. And you guys can look at me, look at this gray hair. I've been around for a little while and uh, you know, I'm, I'm back for the, the days where we did training and um, I've, I've worked in that. I'm, Zinger Miller, Chief Global Certified, also certified through Kale, um, and do workshops um, across the nation. In fact, I have one coming up in Baltimore talking about how to design curriculum for uh, micro-credentialing. And so it's something that I've worked on for years and just a, a passionate interest in, especially the topic of leadership. Um, we'll look at what leadership traits you feel like you possess because there are traits that go along inherently with leadership. Um, we'll also look at some contingency approaches to leadership because we know that you don't handle people the same way and there's never just a right or wrong, this is what I'm gonna do. But what I like to tell people is if you were a carpenter, you wouldn't show up at a job site with just yourself and go, well, here I am. You build that tool belt. And so that's what we will do throughout this course is we will build our tool belt preparing us for leadership roles. Um, we'll look at you as an individual. Um, how do you respond? Um, what can you do as a leader individually knowing yourself? And we'll look at different personality traits with that. We'll also look at mind and emotion now, again, I've been teaching for a long time, especially leadership, management, organizational behavior, and um, emotion is something years ago, oh gosh, 25 years ago, 30 years ago, we didn't really have in textbooks, but it's made an appearance, and it's really made an appearance after COVID and what we've been dealing with. Um, I'm also going to talk about the five generations of work cohorts that are out there because 
it is um, a unique opportunity. We've never had five working cohorts at one time. So what challenges does that bring? Um, and you can tell I fall in the boomer category. So um, I'm not the most popular group that's out there, but because uh, we, we are very opinionated people. And, and it's difficult for boomers dealing with some of the other generations. Uh, we'll talk about courage. We'll talk about moral leadership because it's it, you have to be courageous this day, these days to be a leader. Um, and then you really pushing beyond your comfort zone. How are you going to push beyond that? Um, we'll look at followership, which is maybe something new or uh, that you haven't heard, but how to really manage up and down the chain and what you can do as a leader, because uh, you're under someone, all of us are held accountable. Even if you are head of a system, you still have a board of directors that you have to answer to. And we'll talk about followers and leaders and how that falls into it. And then we wrap it up with a case study because who doesn't love a good case study? And this one is a nice manager and we will, um, uh, I'll, I'll give you directions on that, but that's not due till the very end. But I'm so excited to have everyone. I um, am easily accessible. You can contact me by email, lpowell at uu.edu, and all my contact information will be included in this course in Canvas. Um, and then you could also contact me by phone. I'd love to hear from students. 731-661-5163. Um, I'm happy to work with you, talk with you through situations. And I just love hearing from people and what they're experiencing out and about in the workplace. Uh, but I look forward to this. Um, we'll be together uh, right at eight weeks. And um, I hope you really find the information beneficial. Again, you'll have two weeks to complete each module. There are four modules. Um, but along the way, please stay in touch with me um, and I'll be in touch with you. I will send you messages. I'll send them through the course. Um, they'll also, if you've accessed your UU email, then that, they'll come to your union email as well. Um, and I may be sending some information to your personal email. Uh, but again, please don't hesitate to reach out um, and let's just have a great time as we explore this topic. Thank you.